Jeff Carter. I'm the FIA Media Delegate for the World Endurance Championship. I have two sides of my business. Um, my, my, I'm the media, media delegate for the WC, so my role is to control the photographers, but I also have the ability to shoot as well. I tend to use it for taking driver portraits, um, but I'll also be on the grid, so I got shots of drivers on the grid, and also taking stills in the press conference, and that's very important. Doing videos, I do a lot of video on the X-T1. My workflow is quite structured because I have little time to pick up. And the beauty of the X T1 is I can just pick it up and go. I won't take lots of gear with me because it, you know, it's so heavy, you know, if you take lots of lenses. But having said that, the beauty of the, as everyone knows, an X-series camera is lighter than the equivalent DSLRs. Uh, and that's another beauty of the system. So yeah, for Le Mans, it's a it's an endurance race for the cars, but it's also an endurance race for everybody that works there. Photographers, TV crews, journalists, the fans, the teams, everybody. And the Fuji X-T1 especially held up very well to the test we put it through this uh, in, at Le Mans 2015. I switched to Fujifilm in uh, 2014 fully. Fujifilm system was the, the quality of the images. Um, when I used to shoot film. Um, I was a Velvia man. Provia was also very, very good and the new x sensors mimic those colours beautifully. Uh, they're all brilliant quality and stunning quality for the price of them. And with the new version 4 software on the X-T1, it's, there's, there's no, no perceptible difference between what you would shoot on a Nikon or a Canon to what you shoot with an X-T1. The small camera systems are brilliant because they're lightweight, uh, people can pick them up, they're not expensive, you know, you've got the range, the whole range of X-Series cameras, you've got, you've got a budget for everybody. People look at the cameras when I think, because they seem to think you're professional, you have to have a big camera. That perception's changing, you know, people, all they care about is what they get at the end of the product at the end. I think 16 megapixels is plenty. But I've got A2+, plus, a, I've got A0 prints on my wall at home um, from, from a 12 megapixel camera, let alone a 16 megapixel camera. Um, there is a perception that megapixels equals quality. So the more megapixels you have, the more quality. It's not true. It's not true. It's all about the sensor and the lenses, and that's what's important.